Today, the Justice Department is no longer opposing the unconditional release of John Hinckley, who tried to assassinate Ronald Reagan 40 years ago. At the time, the White House kept secret that the president nearly died, the bullet barely missing his heart. A jury had ruled Hinckley, then 25, not guilty by reason of insanity, but ordered him confined to a mental hospital for life. Hinckley also wounded two officers and paralyzed former White House Press Secretary Jim Brady, who died in 2014. A medical examiner ruled Brady's death a homicide. A D.C. judge ruling that Hinckley, now 66, has displayed no signs of mental illness after spending years in psychiatric confinement and finally living under court supervision with his parents in Williamsburg, Virginia. His surviving parent, his mother, died in July. Why do you want me to go back to my parents? I mean, they hate me. Hinckley had confessed to shooting Reagan to impress actress Jodie Foster, whom he had been obsessed with since seeing her in Taxi Driver. His lawyer calling the decision a win for mental health care. People who are ravaged by mental disease, with proper support, with good treatment, can achieve mental stability and become productive members of the society. The news of Hinckley's freedom comes on the heels of a pending decision on parole for Sirhan Ziran, Robert F. Kennedy's assassin, both cases dividing their families. President Reagan's son, Michael, reacting to the decision, tweeting, FYI, my father forgave Hinckley and would approve. Therefore, so do I. But his daughter, Patty Davis, writing in the Washington Post, I will always picture Hinckley's cold eyes. And telling CNN... When somebody tries to assassinate a president or assassinates a public figure or a presidential candidate, they affect the entire country. So, Andrew, we just heard from Michael and Patty Davis there. Uh, what's, what's been the reaction from his foundation to this news? Well, Craig, the foundation issued a statement saying that they believe that Hinckley is, quote, still a threat to others, and if you take a shot at the president of the United States, you should not see the outside of prison walls, period. Strong reaction there. Yeah. All right. Our chief Washington correspondent, Andrew Mitchell. Andrew, thank you. you Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.